new year, new me, I'm gonna lose 100 pounds before this month is over. Must be that time of year again when New Year's resolutions become last year's failure. <laughs> yeah, I said it. On today's Medical Moment, we talk about, yeah, I get it. On today's Medical Moment, we talk about New Year's resolutions and how you can actually make them stick. What, what, what? I can't burn myself out. I got a whole year for this weight loss thing. Like, I'm gonna start again tomorrow. Don't worry. Yeah, pace yourself, big boy. That sounds like a awesome plan. So, I'm Dr. Jamel. I'm Dr. Idris. And this is today's medical moment. You know, in today's medical moment, we're talking about what you can actually do to keep your New Year's resolutions. Keep them. Keep them. Hmm. Did you know that 50% of Americans have resolutions every New Year's, yet less than 10% actually achieve those goals? What? People don't follow through on their New Year's resolutions? I know. I'm shocked. Know. That's why the gym is always full January 1st, and you can get any machine you want by February 1st. So what can you do to actually keep your goals? Well, number one, be specific. Don't just say, I want to lose weight. Say, I want to lose 30 pounds. Number two, put it in writing. Don't just say, I want to lose 30 pounds. Write it down. It's kind of like a verbal contract or a written contract for that matter with yourself. Number three, sounds kind of funny, but start on a Monday. Studies have shown that people that start new things on Monday have a much higher rate of success than people that start on other days. But that's not all. There's more. Number four, keep your goals manageable. Instead of saying I want to lose 100 pounds in the next month, say I want to lose 30 pounds by July and my goal is to lose 5 pounds a month. And guess what? When you actually succeed, give yourself a treat. Reward yourself. Say I'm going to have a splurge day. But at the same time, when you don't accomplish your goals, Punish yourself. Now you don't have to flog wow. yourself. You, know? you don't have to flog yourself, whip yourself, tell everybody you're the worst human being on the face of the earth. But maybe do an extra lap around the gym or uh, a swear cut, jar. Yeah, a swear like jar. A swear Keep jar. you know, cut 20, 30, 40 calories off the diet that day. And number five, and this one is probably the most important. Try and work in a group. It 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 holds it you. so much easier. It does. It holds you accountable. You know, when someone is succeeding like myself, it gives him motivation. And when someone is failing like he is. I can he give him all up. the support. I lift him <laughs> up. I can give him all the support he needs. So these are just some simple tips to help you keep your New Year's resolutions so that your New Year's resolution won't be your next year's failure. I like that. I like that. Very <laughs> profound, if I do say so myself. As this always, is... folks, don't steal my thunder, no, baby. Hey, hey. As always, folks, continue to watch us on www.twindoctorstv.com. Follow us on Facebook at Twin Doctors TV and follow us on Twitter at Twin Doctors TV. We got nothing else. <laughs> See you later. New year, new me, new us. Let's get it.